does hyperbaric oxygen cause cataracts? That's a question we get pretty often on this channel, and that's what we're gonna cover in today's video. Cataracts are basically a cloudy area that would be covering a portion of the lens over our eyes. And it's actually very common. In fact, it's been reported that over half of Americans over 80 have had cataracts in their life. Now the question is, does hyperbaric cause cataracts? The answer to that question is no. So to add to that, hyperbaric has never been shown in the literature or even anecdotally that I know of to cause cataracts. However, it does appear that hyperbaric oxygen could accelerate the maturation of cataracts in somebody who's already had cataracts and is now undergoing hyperbaric therapy. And so perhaps there's just a misunderstanding that in order for cataract acceleration to occur through hyperbaric oxygen, there needed to be some pre-existing cataracts there. And maybe in some cases, it's been undiagnosed. And so by the time that they have the diagnosis of cataracts, they're seeing that, well, yes, it's accelerated that growth. However, like I said, there has not been any research to say that hyperbaric oxygen causes cataracts. Now, in terms of cataract maturation, one of the mechanisms of that acceleration is likely to be oxidative stress. So exposing the lens of the eye to increased oxidation. And so what that means would be higher levels of oxygen exposure could also lead to faster maturation. In other words, if you're using hyperbaric at lower or mid-range pressures versus using hyperbaric oxygen at higher range of pressures of oxygen, it's more likely to have faster acceleration at those higher pressures than it would be at those lower pressures. That's also one of the reasons that in so many cases I tell people more isn't better. Just because you can go to higher pressures, two to two and a half atmospheres in certain cases, doesn't mean you should, doesn't mean that's the best thing for you to do. So number one, if you're not sure if you have cataracts, but suspect it, you should get them checked out before doing hyperbaric so that you understand fully what your risks might be. Two, if you have cataracts, and for whatever other reason you're also interested in hyperbaric, understand that there are some possibilities. And potentially, depending on what you're going in for, using lower to mid-range pressures would be more appropriate as there's less risk for that acceleration to occur. And like every other medical procedure out there, we always have to be weighing the risks and the rewards. Nobody wants cataract maturation. And at the same time, hyperbaric helps with so many different conditions. And so it becomes your choice to say, here's what my health challenges are, or here's what my health goals are, and does hyperbaric or not help me? And as a result of that help, is it possible that I could have some shifting or maturation of my cataracts? And what am I willing to tolerate in order to get to my health goals or to help get myself away from my health concerns? So that becomes your choice. This video is simply to make the point that it is possible. It will not cause them if you don't have them, but it can accelerate their maturation if you do. And I want you to better understand what your risks are before going into this. So I hope you found that helpful. I appreciate your attention as always, and we'll see you next time.